Hello YouTube and welcome back. In this video, we're gonna be looking at the carburetor that Smokey Unic used on his hot vapor engine. This is on the Plymouth, and he used the same carburetor on several different engines, and the reason was, is that he had a lot of them left over from the Buick program when he helped Buick with their V6. So let's get into this carburetor. We're gonna look at the inside. I wanna run VP fuel in it, so it's never had ethanol fuel in it. Back in the 80s, there was an ethanol fuel. So let's look inside and see how it looks. Come on. Come on. The well, first thing we want to do when we pull the top lid off of this carburetor, and actually I've already had it apart and cleaned. We had to weld this piece on, but I thought that you all might like to see what's the inside and a little more just on the carburetor. First thing we want to do is when we want to pull the accelerator pump arm. This little accelerator pump, we just tap that back and then voila! That goes back and only has one hole. So, but I do got to see that over here. Look, he even put a, 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 a clip. You can change the position. Okay. So yeah. So he, he's already got it done. And look, he even looks like he modified the top of that because it usually comes green and he ground the top of it. So maybe it's interfering with air cleaner. I don't know. I believe that is just so that he could clear the air cleaner and not have an issue with it. And sure enough, that is exactly what it is is right there he had to just slightly shave the top of it but something that we do want to note is that it's on the last hole on the accelerator pump we can move this rod to change the accelerator squirt so he's using the last one right there all right so the first thing i did is i took a punch and i just punched out that little pin but when you drive that pin all the way in, if you put it all the way up against this wall right here, you're going to have a difficult time sliding it back. So I stick a little screwdriver right there. I don't know if you can see it or not. So when I drive that all the way in, just leave a little gap there. That's what I want to say. Leave a little gap so that now this is lifted up. When it's time to put this back on, you can just reach in here and just push it right back in. Real simple. As opposed to, if you drive it all the way till it touches there, Good luck. You're going to take a pair of vice grips. You're going to you're going to be awfully upset um, and there ain't no need for that. So you don't want to be upset. I'm going to go and take this. And he also did is he made a put a little stud here with a little spacer he put. And that's for a bracket to hold the air cleaner, which was missing. So we still need to fab a bracket for the air cleaner. Next thing we want to do is basically it's simple and straightforward. This is the oldest screwdriver known to man um used to belong to my dad dad if you want it back <laughs> come find me um all right i don't want to do much to it besides look at it and preserve what it is but interesting he added this little screw here and i don't know why they normally don't have a screw right here so he drilled it and tapped it and we don't know why yet okay i'm just I'm just, oh my god, I, I'm, feel, like yeah, we're, I I'm, feel like we're historians. Yeah, we're just remarking like, yep. that's not normal. So I don't, I don't know, maybe there's an air passage or something. We'll find that out. Also, we are on an archaeological expedition. These two little screws are special screws. Oh. And I've lost one before. And you have to go get another carburetor. And if you notice, they're different screws. Oh no! Okay. Well, it's okay. He so got, got one. The smaller one. Yeah. In front. Oh, okay. This is, it's neat, it's just, it's exciting. What, I'm just imagining what he was doing. Yes, okay. What was he doing? So, so here's the deal. Up here on the top, the screws are d different, obviously, right? Yes. So I assume, because I've done it before, I've lost one of these before, and these aren't normal to anything else. They go on the top, it's a tapered screw. So I was like, yeah, damn you it, just, you can't put another screw in there. You just told me you went to a junkyard and like, we'd get a whole other carburetor just, just because for that of that. Screw. Oh. So then, so okay, so, but they're both tapered, they're both the same thread, so that's all fine. Then I'm getting to the side right here, right? Okay. Because I'm gonna pull this off so I can pull the lid and not have to get into the choke. And what do I do? He loses a screw. I, I, did, I, I did what, <laughs> well check this out. Look, you're gonna freak out. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, what? Oh my God. He swapped them. He swapped them. So, uh, so Ralph Johnson was the carburetor guru. <gasps> for, well, so Ralph, we don't know if Ralph did it. Well, or if we know did it. from book club Ralph's history of uh, loving, um, you know, the libations. Yes. So, uh, yes. 
So at some point, the screws aren't lost. We found them. The Holy Grail. We found the screws. It just had one and one. So, uh, and I never like to, like to, to, I'm most definitely not taking any pride in finding something that Smokey did wrong. Never. No, ever. no, 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 no. It's interesting. It's, it's history. And also, like, I, I don't know. What I'm getting the takeaway from here is no one's perfect. And all the time, you know, from Automotive Book Club, we're reading that these guys are building this stuff. I mean, the hot vapor engine was a little different, but like so many late nights. Like all, like so, oh like sleepless nights. Like, and these guys like slept four or five hours, and then would just like work through the entire week. So it's like at some point, yeah, we, we, small we, we, we stuff like, like that's gonna happen. That? How could you do that? Yeah. So if anything, this is humbling. Not, not exactly. We're, right. We're, yeah, and it's like they're you know. humans too, basically. <laughs> that's what I'm getting out of it. Yeah. Yeah. Not like you could do any more damage. <sighs> oh, this, perfect. Good spot. I already got this little choke rod off. Um, we got our accelerator pump off on this side, our choke rod on this side. Anybody that doesn't know, this choke rod controls the choke. This, this little accelerator pump here controls the accelerator pump. So that's going to stay in. So I think we're ready to go. Um, yes. Okay. The gasket needs to stay at the bottom. Here it goes. Here it goes. Oh. Remarkably clean. Look at that for, for, so here's the accelerator pump and we will check it as well. Um, let's lift this gasket up so far. The gasket is intact. Right in the center, these are, this is your metering rods. And, yep, yep, yep. And what it is, is there's a little cut in the gasket that you rip and you put a rod, not rip, you move. This gasket's so old, I'm gonna try to lift the metering rod up. There it is, it came up. <gasps> so there's a the metering rod for the inside. And then now this is going to just come right up, and we kept it with the metering rods. Yep. So everybody's going to want to know the size of those meter. Oh my gosh! <laughs> so th this controls. Th this is what controls your fuel curve up on the top end. So these are metering rods, and a vacuum pulls this down here. So inside of the carburetor, there's two jets. And right. these little pointy rods go in the jet. The further in they are, the leaner it is. The further up it gets, you know, the richer it is. So th this is how the fuel curve is controlled on an analog carburetor. So there is specifics to these. Uh, I don't think I ever in my life, can anybody see this? Yeah, put your hand behind it. That's awesome. There you go. Yeah, right there. It's like a needle. How in the world did he machine those? Oh, my gosh. They are so... So small. So thin, like they could be damaged so easily. That one even looks a little bent right there. I know, I'm stressed out just like looking at them. So I'd have, have to, to, I'd have to so show you careful. regular ones. They're not that thin. I've never seen any any that thin. So, yeah, just so. for folks who haven't seen them before, like maybe, we, maybe we can find a regular one for an yeah, example. Yes, so what I'm, what I'm talking about is, look at it, oh is those little yeah. needles. No, I see. That one is, is a little bent. And I wouldn't want to even try to straighten it because, no. oh my God, we bend that. We're not going to duplicate it. So, and you see how they're, they're stepped? Yes. And that's for the different fuel curves. As it moves up, it changes. So this is all analog. This is all analog. Wow, wow the ac accelerator pump is remarkably still soft. Wow. So we're not gonna have to do, the last time that I did this, I just cleaned it, never even got on the inside, and it ran perfect. So let's keep going in here, and let's see what we got. This is the little splash shield. The fuel comes in here. This is your needle and seat. And this is your choke, not your, not your choke, but your float. Just like a toilet yep. bowl. Yep, yep, yep. And yep. there's your float right there. And look at the inside. Really? And oh, my it, God. It's remarkably clean. Yeah. We'll use a little carb cleaner and just sure, blow it. And course. we're going to put it right right back. In, uh, we're not going to have to do anything really to it and clean a little bit. Um, what I should do, because I've been dying to do, is pull one of the jets out and see what size jet it is. Everybody, this is the this is the holy grail of everybody wanted to know about the fuel curve. Danny, the time is now. Yep. The time is so now. So I'll pull one of the jets out and we'll let y'all know what size jet he has in there. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So only the ones that hang out, hang around, or <laughs> watch it, you know, your or my channel will get this. There you go. Heck yeah. I tried to screw this down and get to how many turns from the bottom. I even have the special socket that I've always used for quadra jets and looks just, just like it. Then that's it. What else did I do that we can learn from this is using a straight edge here. It is just 
above perfectly flat. I don't know if it's, I mean, it's it's perfectly flat. If anything, God, very, maybe a thousand or two above perfectly flat. So that has to help um, some people that want to know that know more than me. Let's put this back together again. It's real clean. There's nothing really uh, we need to do to it. I, I don't want to hot tank it. It's more of a restoration than it is to completely get this looking like a brand new carburetor. We're not trying to do that even to the engine. So let's put our little, we've got a little shield that's going to go back on. Let's put our needle, our float back together again. It looks extremely clean on the inside. I mean, look, look at all this stuff. Looks really beautiful not any signs of anything going on like i said it, it never ran ethanol fuel there we go one of the easiest part of the carburetor is that right there this is a splash shield to keep the fuel when it comes out of here it raises from spraying everywhere it lets it push itself right back down there we are Let's drop that in there don't forget our accelerator spring there, I like to put a little WD-40 on the accelerator pump itself. Doesn't hurt if it's anywhere else. Doesn't hurt. Okay. Normally on this gasket, there's slots cut in it, and you bend it out of the way. You put your needle and seat first, and then you lay the gasket. This gasket is so old, and I don't want to break the gasket. I'm doing it the hard way. <laughs> I'm going to have to pay attention, so I'm going to move the camera back out of the way because I don't want to hurt anything. The way you want to know if it's right is push this down and it should move effortlessly. We're done. We're done. We're done, got to hold the accelerator pump, and then we're gonna go ahead and put our lid back on. <laughs> got a couple of screws in there. Lid back down. You can actually hear the accelerator pump squirting. So, put the carburetor screw back in. And like I said, that little screw that's over here doesn't go nowhere. It's just the little screw. So I'm thinking he had some kind of sensor there. That's all I could think of, because it's not a passage. It doesn't go anywhere. But we're gonna go and put that screw right back in. For whatever reason, he drilled and Tap that for some reason. There's four of these screws. And they're tapered little screws about the same length. And like I said, they were too mixed. But I know that these go up here. And the other two go on the side. So let's put those right there. One. Two. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and snug those first. We don't want to lose any of the motor, do we? All right. Udemus accelerator pump. Put it back on. Right there. Push that back into its happy home. There we are. Okay, what do we have? We're gonna get a piece of vacuum hose. This is just too old and cracked. So let me get a piece of vacuum hose. Okay, I got a brand new piece of vacuum hose. It's 
And I just put that on there like that. Look at there, that goes right there. I'll stick that in there. Done, done, and done. Hold on, you'll have a you'll have a cameo. What did you bring? What did you bring? What did you bring? Hi! <laughs> I brought these! Oh yeah, for a little piece we made. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I don't know if I like the metal or the plastic better, to be honest. The plastic looks really clean, but the metal of course is gonna last forever, so. Yes, and that's what happened with with the heat from underneath the, the car. And a little update, let's get that. <gasps> so look. Wow! It wasn't yay! the easiest to weld. Well, just like you had just like you had said. So I was actually just just last night editing the portion that I had filmed, and that was where I had left off. Where you were talking about like the diff the difficulty the of welding the dissimilar metals and everything like that. I mean, I'm a pro at welding dissimilar metals. I didn't know. <laughs> yes, you are. Yes, you, you are. <laughs> so, and you, you'll have to you'll have to get that on phase video. So that will be on phase. Yeah. Um, th this part here. So I even have that on there, and then I'll give that to Faye, and you can do that, because yes, uh, I had already mentioned how you, how you made this beautiful Perfect. template, and everything came out really good, and I think we're still going to add a little JB Weld down at the bottom. Oh yeah, I'm I was, just gonna, thinking I was definitely going to recommend that. Maybe we could do something even like JB Weld to fill in the gaps there and sand it down just to make it look a little better, but, not but, that anyone's going to see it. And look at this, look how this, man, we're, we're there, we're oh, there. Oh, dude, still, it looks so Good. And there's, there's still some fabbing. One last piece to fab. Okay, let's see and what's that. We're, we need to fab a little bracket to again. go across. So this bolt goes in. Yep. And it used to be a two barrel. So now, because of this, it's a four barrel air cleaner. Yep. So we just need a little bracket to go across here and grab the two sides. Just a little wow. piece of metal bent. I don't and, know about you, but I happen to know someone that doesn't suck at fabricating. Yes. And look, he even had... <laughs> <laughs> he even made look there, there's this little spacer he made he did that so it's already so when you tighten it it doesn't just keep bending down right See, i don't know where that little bracket it ended up i never had it it never came with you know with but we need to do that so we're going to fab that or another another task for fantastic for fantastic <laughs> We'll have to make sure that we drop our videos at the same time so everyone gets the complete and full story. Well, we might have to do a premiere. We, we might have to we, do a scheduled might. premiere. So we'll, we'll see what we can have ready for Friday, maybe, but don't, don't hold us to it. This but, Friday? But, oh, God. I don't, I don't well, know about this well Friday. One, one Friday. Oh, they don't know what Friday it is. Yeah, it is. So yeah, sure, this Friday it yeah, is. This, this Friday. Friday so join us this Friday. Join us this Friday. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I think we're done here. I'm going to put on the last little piece here is just the choke, the little choke arm, and then that's it. All right, so now you get to see the carburetor that's on the hot vapor engines. There's no damage inside because there's no ethanol fuel. You see the modifications he did to the carburetors. Pretty much basically simple. What do we think we know? He's dumped a lot of fuel. It's not a lean burn. Um, that's what I think. But now you get to see it and make your own opinions. Let's get this back on the engine so I can get back to work. And we'll see you on the next one.